Good afternoon, Facebook. It's another edition of the Superstar Show, and it's me, Double D, Chad Levine, on a beautiful Friday. Absolutely. I, I'm sweating. I don't know. It's like you go from zero to 60 in one day. I don't know how your body can keep up with this stuff, but I'm hyper because I am so excited for our guest today. When I tell you I've been trying to get her on our show for a long time, it was inbox after DM after DM, and it was like cryptic messages. I was like, you ready? Come on. Let's go. Let's do this. And she finally broke, and I finally got her, and I'm ready to bring her to the stage because I don't want to talk. I want to let her talk. So we are going to bring on South Jersey. I'm talking En Fuego, superstar realtor, Lisa Arcano. Welcome to the show. What? Wait. <laughs> now that is what I call an entrance. I was about to snap a picture of that, by the way. <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> Lisa, what? Oh, yeah. is, I, I am so excited to have you on the show. I'm so Aww. excited. I'm so excited to be here. It's been. It. Ha it was a while, right? Yeah, I, mean, I tried. I was like long. getting. Was I getting creepy ever? Like, not creepy, right? I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, like, a little bit. Like, I might have looked at, like, my Facebook message and was like, oh, man. <laughs> Be like, you know, this, you this just, you have to look at another one of the, you know. And I was just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, though, I am so excited to talk all about you. I want to hear about your life. Yeah, I want to hear about every. I'm not going to let one detail out. We are going to use every minute of this show because an hour, an hour. I, it's an hour, but you're not even going to think about it. I'm telling you, and and you don't even know that I see you because I live in Haddonfield, and when your truck is coming down Kings Highway, <laughs> and I see that face on that truck, I was like, there she is, and I'm going to get her on my show. You I'm should be honking at me when you see me honk. I I honk back. I people <laughs> honk for no reason. <laughs> now that that truck is an icon, and we're going to talk about that. Oh and I'm going to Jason cue up one of those pictures because we have to show a picture of her truck. So we are always well, we start with some context. So tell us where you work out of, what areas you focus on, what sure. brokerage you're with. Give us the whole spiel. All right. So I'm with Weicker Realtors. My office is in Haddonfield. Um, but I do business all over New Jersey. So I'll go up Princeton all the way down to the Jersey shore if I have to. So I'm, I'm pretty much, I cover it all. Um, it yeah, I cover it all. I primarily focus in Cherry Hill. It's where I grew okay. up. Okay. So, you know, it's nice, you know, my, my old stomping grounds kind of doing business back there. It's nice to be over there. Um, but I do, I, I cover it all. I have buyers that come to me and they're like, oh, you know, I want to be in, you know, one specific area. And then they give me like all Burlington County. You know, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'll try to go from Delray and all the way to Tabernacle, whatever you want to do. <laughs> the, the gas mileage on my truck is so good. <laughs> and it's advertising at the same time. So whatever. Exactly. I'm telling you, I can't even, I'm, I want to talk. There it is. Look at the, look at the, I just want everyone to know. I see this truck, okay? I, I think once a week. I I, I live in really? I live on Warwick Road. I live on Warwick Road. I live around the corner. Yeah, like, I'm always there. I know. That's what I'm saying. This so let's you know what? Now that it's up. I have right, to get my let's... best behavior when I'm driving too, right? Because my face yeah. is all over the place. So it's like you know what? I didn't even think light. about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. You cannot, yeah. you can't run a red light or do it blow a stop sign. No, I mean, I'm generally a good driver, but like, I have to be extra cautious. Like if I see somebody walking a block away, I slow down in preparation for them to cross the street because I just feel like I have to, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, <laughs> like here comes a little kid's crossing. I'm like, I gotta stop right now. I have to stop. <laughs> we know Lisa can't do a hit and run. <laughs> so wait, no, I want to ask that. you, so tell me, I got to tell you, first of all, it's extremely elegant. It's very well done. Thank you. It really is well done. So so I want every person that's ever thought about doing this, tell me the process. So how long did this take? So I um, I had this done at Fast Signs in Maple Shade. I'm shouting them out because they did a phenomenal job. They were super patient with me because I was very, I'm very, you know, um, meticulous on just how my, how I brand myself. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, this I had in my, the image I had in my head, but it was so hard to like, convey and like get it out on paper and how I wanted the truck to look. 
Uh -huh. So, you know, we kind of went back and forth with some ideas, but I just wanted something simple. Like when I got the black truck, I knew I was going to tint the, the windows and get black, rim, you know, tint the rims or mm -hmm. dip the rims actually, or whatever. What's um, up, Valerie? So you can do shout yeah, You can so, do live shout outs, by the way. <laughs> hi, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valerie and I have to do a TikTok together. Oh, please. That's yeah. great. We're going to talk about that too, by the way. You're killing that stuff. And mm -hmm. one other, this is the most important question. What's the ROI on the truck? Like what's the return been? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a dollar figure. No, on no, it. no, no. I don't want that. I'm just asking <laughs> have you gotten calls. Have you gotten calls from it? Oh no, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's fun at the same time. Like the other day, where was I? I was in the liquor store, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Same wine. laughs> Another another place that you'll get caught at. <laughs> Wait, that car was stolen, right? Is that when it was stolen? <laughs> so you can't steal my, no one will want to steal my car, okay? So I'm in line at the liquor store. I'm probably like, so the guy at the register, I'm like four people behind, right? And he happened to notice me and he had said, you know, he, he made a comment or something. It was a nice comment. Yeah. Um, but it's just that part is... I, it's fun to just get like, you know, not that I want or need the attention, whatever. It's just, it's fun. It's just, I kind of laugh at it and I'm shameless. I don't even care. Well, no, I'll tell you, this is, this is nothing compared to that. But when I got, when I, my parents got a place at the shore when I was 18 and my dad bought me a wave runner and he put my name on the back. Right. <laughs> so like we're driving on the back bays and the state cops pull me over and they're like, is your name Chad? And I'm like, how the hell did he know that? He's like, dude, your name's on the back of the wave. I was like, <laughs> yeah, lie about yeah. it. Uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, it's like I didn't know if you guys had some crazy radar detecting <laughs> stuff going on. <laughs> All right, so here comes the fun stuff. I want to start from the from the beginning. We're gonna go like back. I feel to like it. I'm in kindergarten writing an all about me book. No, it's good. Oh. This is this is the juice. Listen, Lisa, I want to know about the person behind the truck. Look. You got a good social media follow. You do a good job. Oh, so I want to know more about that. And we're going to talk about TikTok, by the way, because you, you're you doing <laughs> something with that. I, I would tell you, you're probably the most progressive agent in that white card office. They must be like, oh. Oh. like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure Anthony's next. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on him. I'm working on him. <laughs> I get these ideas. These songs come out of the blue and I'm like, oh, this one's for Anthony. Uh, this one's for Eileen. No, oh, I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to hear all about growing up in South Jersey. I don't get enough of this. So you're the first agent that I've had born and raised. Okay. okay. Born and raised. So we're going to talk. Start. Where did you, so you grew up, you were born in, in Cherry Hill. Is that where it all started? It all started in Cherry Hill. Yeah. Okay. Actually uh, in, in Voorhees, if you want to get technical. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so <laughs> yeah, my parents still live in Cherry Hill. Um, I grew up Fox Hollow area. Yeah. So, so start there. Tell every, Cherry Hill is like this huge, Cherry Hill's like, like if you it is, threw, it is big. Like you threw something, I mean, you hit Cherry Hill. Three yeah, it's Cherry Hill. So. so tell everyone what's is it is it like broken down by like like cultures? Like is it the Jewish section and the, like what? How does it work with? Cherry I can't Hill? say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't know how it works. How does it work? Tell me how it works. I mean, it's a, it's a big town, and it's um I. I I'm Jewish, by the way. Don't worry. I can say that. <laughs> so you're familiar with East? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, yeah, so I grew up in, um, yeah, right at Fox Hollow Farms, which is right next to, um, I'm sorry, Wexford Farms, which is right next to Fox Hollow off of Brick Road. I went okay. to Cherry Hill East. So East, um, so East versus yeah. West. So there's an East and a West, right? There's an right? East and a West, right? I, there... I grew up on the East side and I currently live on the West side. Oh. <laughs> That and, the, yeah, that whatever, one. however you do, whatever that is. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Do they and, still do that? I don't even know if the kids still do that these days. And you are you guys like 100 percent Italian? Um, I am not. I'm half, but my mo yeah. mother is, yeah. Your mother's Italian. And is she like like uh or what generation are you? Um is she like third second, third? Like how far? She's, how se she's second, she's second. She's second. Yeah. Okay. So she's second generation. All right. And then were you guys hardcore, like like the gravy Sundays and the, all well, that my stuff? Mom, my mom, not so much. She's so like Americanized. My father obviously is not Italian. So, but my, but my mom's side is. So like yeah. 
you know, it's like such a, it's a funny separation when we have the holidays and stuff. I got to go over there and pretend I'm more Italian than I really am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to call it gravy. We're not going to call it, you know, marinara because God forbid I can feed me. So, um, and we just started doing the seven fishes, but my mom never did the tradition when we were growing up. So, you know, we're starting to do like different traditions with the kids. I think it's important, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have that. I feel like cultural and religion start to like fade out. Mm -hmm. um, and we have strong family values. So I think that's important. I try and pass down to my kids. Mm. Um, but yeah, so it's fun around the holidays. You know, you got all the half of them are talking one language and half are not. I, I don't even know. So, so <clears throat> I'm going to get deep a little now. So talk to me about growing up. You have siblings? I have a brother. He's brother? younger than me. Are you guys close? Yeah, we are close. Okay. Yeah, all we, right. were close. we were close growing up. Um, we're only 18 months apart. So like oh, our circle right. of friends, even back then, we're still close with them now. Okay. Um, yeah. And, it, and you know, they're all, they're all, pretty, we're all relatively close, like in, in location, like they didn't travel far, they, you know, they're not very far and um, we still hang out and have fun. Do you, uh, what were you like uh, in school? Were you an athlete? Were you in the art, gym? What was your thing? So I, more of an athlete. I uh -huh. was a little bit of a tomboy, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. So when I say that, people are like, really, you? Well, how tall are you? How tall are you? I'm 5'9". Yeah, you're, I was going to say, okay. You, yeah, you're I, I mean, yeah. I stand up, but I'm so tall, you're not even going to see me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah. Well, the screen's only about a couple inches, so you're going <laughs> to get like my my my, my jeans my <laughs> but so um, were, uh, yeah so you were in the sports yeah i was okay. i played a lot of sports when i was a kid i broke my arm playing football oh wow i played All soccer right. when i was younger but then i kind of grew out of that i did basketball okay um but then i i stopped playing when i was in high school i got really social mm -hmm. um what does that mean what what does that mean i i wouldn't stop talking i just kept you know <laughs> Boys, like, uh, were you into boys then? Did you have boyfriends? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess maybe a little bit. I was into boys, but um, yeah, I was just, we were just having fun. Like back then, you could get on your bike and you know ride the neighborhoods until it's dark out, you know, mm -hmm. and play jailbreak and pop people's fences, and that's what we did. What's jailbreak? What's Jail that? You remember jail? I guess it, what do they call it now? Um, <laughs> I don't know what these kids call these things. Yeah. <laughs> what is it that like you'd like, like the flag or oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like yeah, like it's right. essentially like a hide and seek type of thing, right? What, what was the big thing in in Cherry Hill that day? Was there or back then? Was there the big movie theater? What'd you the mall? Did you go to the mall a lot? What'd you do? Yeah, we went to the mall, we went, yeah. we, but we played like a lot of street sports. Like you know, we yeah. played basketball or you know, we played roller hockey. We okay. start fires for no reason, and the, I don't know. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right, hey, whatever. I I'm just trying to learn more about you. That's all. <laughs> we like build ramps and jump off the ramps and ride bikes. You know, I mean, it's what we did. Did you go into Philly a lot? What was that? I when I was older, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What were you like a South Street person? What was your thing? Yeah, I would go to South Street. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I guess more. Like um, second and chestnut, old or, city, yeah, old city, oh, yeah, Remember fusion and yeah, you know, shampoo, you know? shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> you took the blue martini. Did you ever do that spot? Blue martini. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah and then uh, fun times too. You yeah, can't go into the city now. It's such a shame. Yeah, well, that's an interesting point, and we should bring that up because, especially with the migration out of South Jersey or yeah. to South Jersey, I should say, because yeah. everyone's been going ape, you know, s h i t to get into your area, right? But yeah. um, the uh, the thing that I guess I'm trying to dig for is is there, it, and I and I always do this. This is how I end this part of the segment. If you were to rewrite your description in your high school yearbook, right, knowing what you know now about yourself. What would that look like to, for us? How would you, what would you, how would you cap that part of your life? What would Jesus do? <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me. It it up. Is not you. <laughs> That's it right there. What would Jesus do? That's a great That's response. <laughs> <You'll do it. laughs> That is a great response. I love that. What would Jesus do? She Lisa Lisa follows the Bible 
to a T. <laughs> before I got on the show. <laughs> Lord, give me strength. <laughs> so, all right. So you graduate high school. Then what? Where'd you go? Uh, so I stayed local. So my son, I had my son um, when I was young, actually. Uh -huh. um, so I I stayed local. I did the college thing local. It wasn't more, I wasn't a traditional, uh, you know, four years away from home. Um, and I went, I went right into work and, uh -huh. you know, did work and school at the same time and had a, had a little one. Mm -hmm. And, um, how old were you when you had a child? Uh, I was 20. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I started work, working for Virtua when I was oh. 19. Okay. Uh, turning 20 and he was, he was an infant. Okay. And he went to the daycare there and I would go. Uh, you know, work for the hospital, and then I would I would pick him up and do my studying and what have you. So I that's where you learn. That's where you learn the grind, right? Yeah, that's yeah. where you learn the grind. That's where a lot of people. That's when they build their true grit and find out who they are when when that type of stuff happens, right? Yeah. And, it's just, and uh, I guess I always wanted to be a mom. I yeah. I I love I love kids. No, I, I didn't even mean that. I I meant in, I meant balance. I like. I can't balance it now. And I have a wife and a, we yeah. have someone that helps. I got, I, I, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. Like I, if I were to start over right now, I don't oh. think I could balance it. Well, like I was such a, like a great mom. I mean, I'm a great mom now, but yeah. like, if I were to start over, I'd be like, Oh my God, this kid's crying. Like, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. 23 years old. I, yeah. I don't know. It just came so natural to me. Um, I mm -hmm. had my second when I was, when I was 23. And I just, I just loved it. I loved, I loved, you know, being a mom and, and juggling it all. I'm that type of, um, I love more on my plate kind of person because yeah. I like to be really busy. Yeah. Um, so I worked for Virtua for 14 years. Wow. I worked for Virtua Cardiology for 14 years. Wow. And close to the end, I, I was debating whether I wanted to, so I, my, my degrees in, um, business with the help with the country. Oh, here. I think I remember you making that announcement. Wasn't there like a public, didn't you do like a Facebook thing where I'm like, I'm leaving my job? Work, yes. leaving both? I remember that. Yes. Yep, yep, so yep. that was right when COVID hit because yep. that's when I took the leap to jump into real estate full time because I yep. was doing both for a little while. Wow. You haven't been full time that long at all. No. Wow. Yeah. Woo. You've seen a lot of success for a very short time then. Wow. Oh, thank you. That's incredible. Good for you. Thanks. I have a great support system. Um. You know, my 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 leader and even you know those at at Virtua, they were they were so great. They yeah. were so helpful. Um, you know, I have I have a strong worth work ethic mm -hmm. at Virtua, and I and I knew I could apply it here with with real estate. Mm -hmm. But it, it got to a point where it was like you know my my real estate career was taking off, and mm -hmm. I couldn't be efficient in both anymore. Sure. And my Virtua colleagues really wanted me to you know. It, they wanted me to succeed mm -hmm. and, and grow my business. And it was kind of, it was time and it was yeah. the perfect time because yeah. then my kids were home from school and it was like, well, someone has to be there. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so tell us how you got started. Like, so you got started and this was like a side hustle. Is that, is that how you it got was. it? Um, yeah. You know, when I was at Virtua, I, I kind of got bored. I loved what I did, mm. but I didn't see myself being there. Um, long term mm -hmm. so i <laughs> the the noise. Yeah. So, what is it, um, you got like a little poodle is that what you got yeah right no i have well, i do have a small dog and then i have a medium-sized dog so he gets, <laughs> he gets, yeah he gets He's <laughs> um but what was where were we so virtual virtual yeah, so virtual. um so i was yeah I, I was debating the fact of either getting my master's or just leaving entirely. But at the time, I just felt like the business wasn't, or the work wasn't challenging enough for me and mm -hmm. I couldn't provide the lifestyle I wanted for my kids. Sure. So I just wanted to, I got into real estate. I have family that are, that's in real estate, you know, Anthony DiCicco and sure, uh, sure. some of those yeah. guys. So, I know those guys. You know those guys. <laughs> So, and my grandfather and him, you know, they've, they've built over in PA. Um, I have another uncle at Remax. Who, he's been in real estate his entire uh, adult career. So I have the industry, you know, in the, in the background. 
So I tell know. us, tell us when you got into it. Like what, um, at what, like what, what year was it? When did you get started in it? 2017, I want to say. Okay. okay. And um, you just finally said, I want to taste it a little and see how it goes. Yeah. Or? I mean, yeah. I, you know, when I was a kid, it wasn't like, Oh, I want to be a real estate agent. When I grew up, it was like, I literally just was like, oh, I'm going to try this. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I went, I took the exam, I failed mm -hmm. it. Uh, mm -hmm. I took it again. Failed it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you obviously passed at some point. <laughs> you guys, I did pass it. Um, but the point of me, the point of me bringing that up is because I wanted it bad enough, right? Uh -huh. so like I knew that I, I, you know, I had to study. You have to apply yourself. Um, I had to go through some personal growth and development prior mm. to all of that, just mm. because I was going through a divorce years mm. prior, mm -hmm. um, and that kind of beat me up a little bit too. But mm you know um ultimately it was just it was a better it was it was a good decision and um, and you know i just haven't looked back so the constant hustle well, i mean the other thing lisa is like it's it's so funny the exam is no bearing on on how well you do right these exams are yeah. so stupid yeah. i don't care i'm sorry if anyone's watching this the exams are stupid like, they're, <laughs> stupid. They're, like they don't, they're like everyone stresses out over the exam because it's Cares about the exam. How do I get business? <laughs> it's, a lot, it's a lot of law. I mean, yeah. yeah. I just, they're like, they're like, stupid. It's like kids learning math nowadays. You know, it's like half the stuff that I'm even going to remember or apply. No. Or what. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's like antiquated stuff. It's like yeah. you know, how do you read a stupid deed? I don't know. That's why you <laughs> don't know. I don't know how you read a deed. Like <laughs> that's why they have all these other people, right? <laughs> What's wrong with your load? I'm gonna yeah. it to it. Exactly. Heck? Exactly. Like I don't know either. I just said no. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, I. Uh, all right. So when you started, who did you start with? I'm gonna. I, I want the detail. You're not yeah, giving me any of the real estate details. It's a real estate show, yeah. Lisa. Give me the details. I'm gonna give you the roots. So <laughs> I started with I started with Keller Williams in okay. Cherry Hill, and I okay. love those guys over there. George Denny. Um, yep. Rob Bunis and I sat down for coffee, and um, and Rob's yeah. with Rob's with Prime Partners now, right? He yeah, switched. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and that's yeah. that's with Richie, uh, Mark Richie, right? Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay. So, and Rob, we've been good friends for a while. It was funny, like we never, I never thought that a conversation having coffee would have, you know, turned into into this. But um, yeah, he's a good dude. George is great. So and, what did you? So I, tell me. So you stepped in. Like you just, you, you started with Rob the first one. Who did you, how did you get it? No, so the mentor, my mentor at the time was Martin Hill. And okay. um, yeah, he's great. I think he's just, he's retiring now. I believe he moved down to Florida, but he was a great guy too. Um, and I don't know, somehow I was there for about a year and a half. What and did you learn? What did you learn in the beginning? Like, tell me what it was well, like. In the, in the beginning, I yeah. focused solely on um, REOs. So I was all oh. like bank bank owned third party type of thing. Like I wasn't wearing heels and these types of earrings. I was going in, I was going in homes that like there was rats running through the basement. The walls were falling off and the water was coming in. Oh, it was great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The what toilets did you, were like over flooding with like sewage. It was yeah. It was like, what did you what did you learn there? Were you like what that did was you a lot of it? like well doing so I, and again, it was like, that was a constant hustle doing, mm. um, the REO stuff. I mean, I must've put in like 70 offers a month for these investors that I was working with. Wow. I got, I would get like two hours of sleep, but I wanted it. Like I wanted it. And yeah. you know, it was just, again, it's a constant grind. Wow. You, you have to want it. You can't think that things are going to be handed to you or, you know, go to a brokerage because there's going to be leads here. Like it doesn't work that way. Right. Um, right. Right. If, if you want it, you got to go out and work for it. Yeah. So. And and if the, um you know, back then, and it's funny because back then wasn't that long ago, but just showing the change in the landscape, give us an idea. Like, tell us what kind of deals were people getting? Like, uh, like give us an idea. Like, just uh, not specific, but like, could you pick up something in Cherry Hill or a surrounding area for like, I don't know, half of what it is now? Like, I mean, what kind yeah, of for sure. A hundred yeah. grand, a hundred grand less. Easy. <laughs> Easy, Crazy. and you could do like a contingency, like simple. You'd be like, "Oh, well, my clients have a, a house to sell. Okay, well, here your offer is accepted." Like back then, it was like <laughs> it's so crazy. I say back then, even though it wasn't that long. It wasn't back then, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. 
So then, okay, so you're done the first year. You're completely exhausted. You're filled with rats and all this other crazy. <laughs> So now, now what? What's next? You're like, I'm going to join a team. I want to, I don't want to, what do you do next? Tell me what you so do. I, well, so I did go back and forth with the thought of join of forming my own team. I oh. am not the person to join a team. Uh -huh. I don't take like demands or commands very well from other people. That's one of the reasons why I got in this business, right? Like uh -huh. if I wanted a boss, I would have stayed at Virtua with the nine to five job kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like, I want to join a team. That's not me. I'm a solo yeah. agent. Um, I'll eventually like build something underneath of me. Um, Will they be I'm added to the truck? Is that how? Because like, so, so Bo, yeah, because Bograd adds. So what Bograd's thing is, right, is that he's, his claim is if you earn your keep, you get on the billboard, right? Did you know that? Yeah. So yeah. Anthony made the billboard. Now Emilio yeah. is trying to get on the billboard, right? Nope. That's Amelia, oh, Amelia! Oh, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amelia! Oh my God! Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, I watch some of his videos, and he cracks. I crack up because I know, like I know him. So like <laughs> hearing the voice and hear, like it, that's why it's just funny to me. He like, is what? Let me tell you, I haven't, met, I've never met Emilio in person, but he is funny as hell. He is. He is funny as hell. But anyway, Anthony too. Like when you listen to him doing business, yeah. I'm like. I, I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> I do. I want to be able to get on the phone and be like, listen, fucking take my, you know? <laughs> we can do, God damn it. Like, I can't. <laughs> we can do role play later if you want. And you can imitate whatever agent you want. I'll give you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is. Speaking of Emilio, Jason happens to do some of the graphics for Emilio. I That's bet you didn't great. know that. Yeah. He looks good there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But, great photo. Oh my God. Yeah, but South Jersey's a whole nother beast. I mean, come on. The, the Chicas and it's it's they stay on PA and the Arcano stays on the, yeah. the oh, yeah. <laughs> We just we pass things back and forth to each other. That's there you go. <laughs> so all right, so you've done the REO stuff. Now tell me how you get into the to the I guess for for lack of a better term, the more glamorous stuff. It was really a word of mouth. Yeah. I mean, my business has been word of mouth. Yeah, and I just, and, and that's important, Lisa. So so especially in South Jersey, right? Yeah, it's, it's so difficult to be to come into South Jersey. Like I'm new to South Jersey. I'm only been here two years, right? I okay. no one knows me in South Jersey, but you've grown up here. You you, you worked at Virtual. You're from Cherry Hill. That that makes a huge difference, does it not? Like in terms of referrals. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. it's so, and, it's just I, I don't know. That's just me. I'm an outsider. I'm still trying to learn the South Jersey swag uh, swagger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think, you know, each, in, you know, agent or, you know, individual, whatever, you know, you have to bring something different to the table, right? Like uh -huh. you have to add value. You have to be different. Um, mm -hmm. And that's just me by, by nature. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a very loyal person by nature. Mm -hmm. I wear, I wear my heart on my sleeve mm -hmm. and I like to build relationships with my mm -hmm. clients. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's more than just, it's a business relationship. And I do tell my clients, clients keep that in mind like it's hard because they get so wrapped up and and it's a it's an emotional um process like it's, right. it's an emotional roller coaster mm. so you have to you have to remember like whatever's pulling on your heartstrings and i talk about this a lot because i see it a lot you have to separate it mm. and do what's best for you because it's a business transaction so i tell mm. my sellers all the time like you have to remove what you think is 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 like filling your heart and mm. and just do what's best for you yeah. And, and I mean, it's probably a little easier on the seller side sometimes, especially now with buyers, you fall in love with a house. I know. Like, then it's like, all right, here's 20 offers and six people right. have a half a million dollars in cash under their house. And where do you <laughs> think this cash? I, like, I, I don't get I, it. They're like stashing it under their beds. And it's I, like, I oh, don't know. I, I work, I but here's my proof of funds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I just told you I'll put twenty percent down, and I have an eight sixty credit, which doesn't exist by the way. But like, and, and it doesn't mean anything. Like, what the hell is going on? Really I know it's crazy. I don't know where these where these people are coming from with the, with all the cash. That's that's the problem with the market. It's crazy. People have too much cash. It's crazy. Yes, yeah, stop, stop, stop buying and selling Bitcoin, people. <laughs> <laughs> 
I still don't understand it. Every day, I'm like, oh, damn, it's down again. <laughs> so, all right. So you you build up. You start you start for lack of a better term with your boots in the mud, right? Mm -hmm. Then you start to build slowly, and it's an important thing for agents because I and I always get in these conversations with younger agents, newer agents. You can't shortcut time, right? You really put the time in yeah. to develop this organic growth. So. Yeah. You really, as you're growing now, now, how long did you stay at Keller Williams as a whole? Uh, I was there for about a year and a half and I didn't oh, have you weren't there long. Of, yeah, okay. no, I wasn't there long and I didn't okay. have intentions of leaving. I mean, I liked everybody there and the support uh, was great. The, the learning tools were great. They mm. do have a lot to offer. So why did you leave? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the obvious question. Is it? <laughs> So I met with Eileen Konzelman. We had lunch yeah. and um, I like, we like instantly fell in love. I had like a girl yeah. crush. I'm like, she's fantastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the leadership is just, it's great. Um, yeah. And we have excellent tools at White yeah. as well. And I love all of our branding. I love our mm -hmm. marketing that we do. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's why I'm there. So, all right. So you're at Wycart. Where do you see, where do you start to see the trajectory of your business go from like, like, was it the truck? Did the truck just. <laughs> yeah, just it up. Yeah, just... <laughs> what, what really like, where did you start to see that? that, that yeah, going? no. And that's a good question. So yeah. um, it was a combination of things. So uh, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go all in. Um, I'm here full time. Right. You know, there's no looking back. I and you know what? Stop there for a minute. This is this is so important. I love this, right? Let's go to this moment. So right. you you're mentally like, you're like, all right, I'm Holy dropping shit. my stable paycheck. Oh yeah. I'm done. I'm dropping it. And I'm gonna Three go. So, did you poop your pants? Hit my or was pants. It, you my pants. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you were like, were you super? Like, Holy shit. I really was. Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I have three kids. Single yeah. mom again, full yeah. disclosure. Yeah. Um, and and it was it was a lot like to yeah. take, but I you can't like you can't look back. It's like yeah. I'm super laser focused on on providing for them. So mm -hmm. that's like my why. That's where I'm at all uh -huh. the time. So that and, day that you announce that you're ready to announce it, you're uh -huh. excited. Then you're nervous. Tell yeah. me what happens the next day. Like when you wake up and you're like, I probably woke up and was like, oh my god, did I really just do this? And then. Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Like it's a constant. Like, <laughs> I was like a little bipolar. I think it was I like, it was like Lily. Like, it was like Lily and Lisa, right? And I was like, you're doing yeah. <laughs> Lily <laughs> and Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what did All you right. change anything? Like, like, like that's what take, I want to, I've never done that. So take me to that, like. I want to get into that, like mentally, where you're at. Like, so the next day, you're like, "Holy crap, I'm all in." So, what I, what changes? I guess I really didn't focus on too much of what could go wrong. Uh, it was more of like, let's again, let's stay laser focused on what I need to do. Got. And what was that? Like, tell. Were you? Was it the lit? Like, did you know? Did you know what you were gonna do? Like, I'm just curious. Well, I I knew I wanted to grow my business and being in right. it full time. Again, I just it was a matter of it's just constantly getting yourself out there, referring right. yourself. It's consistency. Right. You have. Were to you do you do daily? Ha do you have like a daily routine? Do you do that? I do. I, okay. I do. And yeah. you know, I, I write things down. You know, I'm like a post-it person. You know, I got things here, and um, I have like a vision board. Uh -huh. uh, I have a daily calendar. Mm -hmm. you know, I have stuff in my phone. So it's, mm -hmm. it is, it's, it's, I'm a visual person. So I have to, I have to see it, you know, mm -hmm. I get and then name. did you see when, what difference did that make? Because this is another message. Everyone says I can do real estate on the side. Like, so, so what did it, did it massively I love it change? People tell me that. I mean, I, I like yeah. people say, Oh, my grandmother just got a real estate license. I'm like, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin's uncle, the mailman, like that's, that's awesome. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Just, any I'm any just... schmuck any schmuck can do a loan. <laughs> oh, yeah, how yeah. you guys do it though, like with numbers, that's it's a big part. Like we can't do it ourselves. You know what well, I mean? Like, well, we like to have we like to think we play a role, you know? Huh? 
We it? like to think we play a role. So do. we're, we're good do. at our part so that when a client calls like they did last night at 845, I was putting it in offer at 915 and we hadn't spoken for three months and I hadn't had anything updated. She needed an approval. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean, it's the, you know, what's funny. I, I was talking to say, my job's not sexy. Like you get to do the cool shit. Your face is on the truck. You got cool hoop earrings. Like, you know, you're like Lisa Arcano. I'm like, uh, the lender. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm the lender. <laughs> like, yeah, that's cool. You can put your face on your car. Why not? <laughs> yeah, it's true. With money, right? With that's with, what you should do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get TikToks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't tell the New Jersey Department of Banking. Do me a favor. <laughs> but no, I, I only, I, for me, it's like I'm always trying to get into people's mind. Like, I love talking to people that that taste success and have success and yeah. finding out the reason. So, like. I'm trying to mentally thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> like that, the uh, that's that's Emilio's co-host on the other show. There, um, the uh, I'm always trying to get in the mind of saying, "All right, at that point in your life, it's such a massive decision, right? It and it takes such courage." And I'm just, I just, I just wanted to find out, like, I wanted to get in your mind at that point, and say, "What was going on?" Yeah, I mean, and people ask that question all the time, mm -hmm. um, you know, because there are other agents who are dual career and yeah. have yeah. the intentions of eventually, you know, leaving their their primary job and doing real estate full time. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my best advice could would be to just it, you have to feel it in your heart and in your yeah. gut and you have yeah. to really want it. Yeah. You have to be passionate. I'm yeah. a very passionate person. Yeah. So if I want something, I'm going to go after it. I yeah. don't like it when people tell me I can't have it my way or you can't mm -hmm. do it. And, and that's wow. wait, 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 let's do that. Let's redo that. Jason, just bring her on screen because you are captivating. Right? Talk about the passion. Let me feel that passion. <laughs> Jason, get me off the screen, Jason. No, because now you just put me on the spot. You no, just no, Jason, me get me off the screen, Jason. All right. Describe us your passion for real estate. Go. I love I'm feeling it. You just took my moment away. I can't redo it now. All right, fine. Bring me back on then. Whatever. I, but it was, I felt it. I felt it. Like, yeah. I can see it. I, oh, well, thank you. And, and yeah. again, it, it's when you have that passion, it, it shows. So yeah. it, it's, I, I'm not like, I can't be that fake it till you make it kind of person. Mm. I know people can be. And, mm. and it's funny, like those who are, you know, it's like, you look at them and you're like, you graduated high school and <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. And you're making $30 million. I don't understand. I don't, I don't. <laughs> this is when your client comes out, Chad. <laughs> I have a little of that too. But just so you know, what we call it, we call it Ajita. That's what we call it. <laughs> I know about it, all about Ajita. Yeah. <laughs> Not in China. It's not angina, it's oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's safe to say that when you think a property is not good for a client, you have no problem telling them that. It's funny that you say that. <laughs> because I can be very cutthroat, very uh -huh. straightforward. Like, uh -huh. I'll let you know. Now, I'm not a licensed tradesman. I'm not a mold uh -huh. specialist. I'm not a uh -huh. contractor. I'm not a home inspector. But I'll mm. be like, hey, listen, like, um, there's black stuff on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Wanna, That's not good. This is not good. Away from that one. Yeah. I mean, like, no, but I, I will. I will. I will definitely yeah. give my honest opinion because they buyers appreciate that. They don't. Mm -hmm. They don't know, and especially if they're just starting out in their home search, they don't know what's out there. And yes, they may fall in love with the first or the second home that they see, and mm -hmm. and it's just it may not be for them. So mm -hmm. sometimes you have to you have to like kind of you guide them. You mm -hmm. know, we're their, we're their trusted advisor. That's what they hire us for. So, That's true. That's yeah, true. I agree. So there's some things that you can change about a home. And there's some, there's some things that you can't, like if the home checks all of your boxes, but the kitchen's dated, but you got 40 grand sitting in the middle of your mattresses and you want to. <laughs> it's true. It's ridiculous. But that's doable. That's you know, ridiculous. Great. But then yeah. there's some things that you can't change. Like if you want a basement, then let's not look at a house that has a slab. Like I, don't know. I know, I know. It's just great. I mean, are people buying pieces of shit because there's no inventory? Um, <laughs> I don't know people buy pieces of shit. no, like, you know, 
what I mean. Like, like I guess and that's my it's roundabout funny, I way. Walked in, I walked in a house the other day and um, it was, I mean, the property. <laughs> that was like the worst like, question ever ask a realtor, but I just felt compelled. I was just like, oh, I think I'm just going to say it. <laughs> you, may get, you may get another response. You may get a different response from somebody else. But you know. <laughs> it was funny. So I walked in a distressed property the other day and I got there before my client got there. And I'm like, yo, you want to FaceTime me? Because <laughs> you may not want to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Did they come? No, we FaceTime. <laughs> it was a complete shithole. Like, yeah. <laughs> But it's worth five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't. I don't. It blows my mind. Oh my god! So, what's your take on the whole, um, the new ways of doing things? Appraisal gaps and oh. and um, uh, no contingencies and no yeah. inspections. And is it something where you're like you'll do it to win, or you don't agree with? Like, what is your, what's your take on? So, it? I I make suggestions. I definitely uh, um, I educate the buyers on what we can do, what will yeah. win a bid. What are you willing to do? It's there's mm -hmm. a lot of that. So um, I've like we have to come up like strategically with a plan, right? right. Like, all right, let's go this much over asking because I know we'll praise here and let's offer this um, mm -hmm. to the seller and this and this and this and and try to entice them, right? So because mm -hmm. it's hard, it's challenging when you're up against sixty offers. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. went um, I I went to um, an open house just. Two weeks ago, and there were sixty-five offers on this house. Sixty-five. And and tell everyone these aren't like crib style homes. No, these are like basic ass colonial, final, blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Very hell. Yeah. Sixty-five offers. I mean, I would have like blown my head off at that point. I just, if I were a listing agent, I would have been like, "What the hell am I doing?" All right, take me through. Take me through this because you listen. By all intents and purposes, you list a lot of properties, right? I so I know it. you get a lot of offers. How does it take me to that? So you're what's give me like a so during the pandemic, what was the most you saw? One, 50, 40? How many offers did you see? Uh four, 40. Uh, what did we get? I don't know, 20 maybe. Well, back then, I so I think I feel we're seeing more now than we were. Really? Yeah. Wow. But okay. inventory is popping up. It's it's slowly popping up. So you, so let's say you get, I don't know, 30 offers, right? Yeah. How do you sit down with a seller? What do you do to get, run me through that? Yeah. So I put everything on a spreadsheet because again, oh. I'm a visual person. I, I, I'll send, you have to, I'll send the offers to That's the smart. seller, right? Yeah. And then I come up with my own spreadsheet and it's, oh. and it's laid out. There's no, I mean, it's the easiest way to you know do what? it. That's like the smartest thing I've, it's, it's so simple, but you that's got, you got to, because you got to put all the terms yeah. in there and you yeah. got to go through them all. Yeah, and you start weeding them out, you know. Interesting. Yeah, huh. I, I mean, I, I would think, I would hope most people do that. <laughs> I don't, and I maybe, maybe it's my naivete. I don't know. Is that? Did you come up with that, or would someone tell you about that? I guess over time, as business was, as I was getting busier, it's just again, how can I make life easier for me? Yeah, and for my clients. Yeah. So how, can, how can I deliver? I'm always, I'm constantly coming up with with new new strategies and tactics on on how to make things easier that's you know? pretty and do like it, it's funny too because things go so fast you don't even have time to do open I know. houses it's i know and, and it's hard because you do you have to kind of um you have to block out like the rest of the world and you have to take time to, to do it but it's worth Amazing. it i mean they hire you to sell right. their home right so you have to do this right it's not like i'm going to put your home on the market and let the market sell and let it sell itself like you have to put in the work and you have to put in the time. Have you ever seen anyone wrestle at an open house? <laughs> like, no, it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. So I did go to an open house one time and my clients ran into uh, someone that they knew who was also seeing the house with another agent. And I, I walked up and I said, listen, you all can be friends right now. All right. <laughs> and once you start putting offers in, it is on. Like, <laughs> I'm taking no shit. All right. <laughs> Afterwards, we can talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's make this a little fun. I'm going to make it a little personal now. That was fun. We got through the professional stuff. So we cap off professional with goals and visions and objectives. So tell me, where does Lisa Arcano, was it, what are you, Lisa? What are you, what's your, Lisa Arcano, realtor? Like, what's your tag? What's your thing? Uh, real estate what? as it should be. Real estate as it should be. So what's your, first of all, I got to tell you something. You're young. 
Like I, I, I don't even have to ask your age. You're like an old, well poised soul, but you're super <laughs> young. You're young. You're young. I am you're, young, but I do yeah. have an older soul. I, I've had yeah. an older, an old soul for since I was young. <laughs> that's good though. That's good in terms of of, of being able to uh, uh, reach different demographics. You know what I mean? And sure. I think that that's a good that's a good thing. Not everyone has that. That's like a lost yeah. art. In I, I am super relatable. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So, so what is the goal? What's your goal? Like, you don't have to tell me number, like what you want a huge team. You want six trucks with your face on it. Like, <laughs> like, like what do you want? Tell me what you want. You're in the white card office. Es escalate. I'm going to get a couple of <laughs> ones. Yeah. That's um, so I, I, I'll disclose this now since you yeah. asked. Um, yeah. I did go back and take the broker's course. Oh, so listen, I, I try to bring as much value as I can. Um, yeah. so I don't, and I don't have any intentions of opening anything right now, but later on down the road, if you know, the opportunity arises, I'm there, you know, like I'm ready to mm. jump in it. You um, know what you just did, right? What'd I do? Your phone's about to blow up off the hook. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's right <laughs> off. I see all the signs. <laughs> You want a what? <laughs> and then, and then, is there an area that you? So Cherry Hill, I know you do it all, but Cherry Hill, is there an area you really want to dominate or add to your repertoire, or or is it just you? So my just, portfolio. So I, I mean, again, I've done so much of, of Jersey, and it's such yeah. an experience, and and I love it. Um, yeah. You know, I love when I get referrals in in Princeton, and yeah, I'll take a drive up there. Like I don't yeah. care. And and then I had a, a sale in. Um, uh, Bridge Bridgeton or further south of Swedesboro. It was a beautiful home. It was a horse uh, farm. That was great experience. A too. horse farm. Yeah, oh it was great. I tried. I tried to uh, finance one of those, and uh, it didn't go well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not even for you. You're the finance guy. <laughs> I didn't get the loan. <laughs> so, hey uh, guys, I don't do I don't do horse farms currently. Uh, <laughs> So that could be a goal for you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm work on that. And um, okay, and then team. What about team? No, yes, so I, maybe. I would love to start a team. It's funny yeah. that you asked this because I had this conversation with somebody the other day. Because um, I know you get hit up. You have to get hit up a lot. Come on. I mean, I do. I, yeah. You know, I, I but I want to be comfortable enough to educate my team mm. and to bring leads or like whatever value that I can bring, right. I want to bring right. it to my team. Because again, right. I'm not the fake it till you make it kind of person. I'm right. just not. I am more passionate when I'm right. when I know what I'm doing and when I'm strong about it. So I do want to build a team. So what you're saying is if you brought on a teammate prematurely, which is very common, you'd be more concerned about how you have to feed them and all that other well, stuff. I would definitely mold them and, yeah. and mentor them because would they have to with the the hoop earrings and the oh my God. And the, yeah, the car. <laughs> um, so that is that is my goal in the next like two years. I would say is okay. is, is to start a team. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, we we know you'll do extremely well with that. I, Thank I, you. I have we'll no doubt about it. There too. <laughs> I uh, I'm going to do a couple more fun things, and then Jason's going to show us your TikTok that you did because I want everyone to see your your most recent method of of branding and marketing. Um, mm -hmm. Do you get a lot of business from social media? I'd imagine you I do. do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I'd imagine and, you do. I mean, even prior to getting in real estate, I was always super engaged uh -huh. um, on social media. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, whether it was just, I don't know, reaching out to people like friends or what have you, or people in like, like those community pages, like just staying mm -hmm. active and engaged there. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it's just, I don't always have to be like, I'm not business all the time. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. it's just being authentic and being you and mm -hmm. being helpful and people appreciate that, you know? So I want to talk about the softer side of Lisa, actually. That's, that's a good point to bring up. So you're obviously a very pretty woman. Um, everyone knows that. What is it like to oh be? Gosh. No, no. But I mean, what I mean is like, and this is this is again, it's it's perspective. Being a realtor, that is that is. Do you get a lot of? Uh, is there a lot of people that that cross the line and that like that stuff? Not a lot, but I have had some. And yeah. um, there there was one this past year that was um, a little creepy. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. where I would I would block. A try to block yeah. phone numbers and emails and then somehow 
he's getting through, you know, another way using another, you know, resource or another email or something. But and that's a serious safety thing, right? Like that's, that's what I think of. Like, yeah, it, it, yeah. it can get kind of scary, um, yeah. you know, and then, and then because of Facebook, you know, I'm, yeah. anyone's easy to, yeah. to Google or to search. Yeah. And my Facebook is public. Right. For the reason. So people can find me. I post right. things on social media. Um, what I want people to see, I, I don't put, I typically don't put, if I don't want people to see it, I won't put it on there. Put it, put it That's there. a great segue from a serious topic. How about we show your TikTok that you obviously want people to see? <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, Miss Lisa Arcano's debut on the Superstar <laughs> Show with her, we're going to call it Lisa Arcano Productions. What do you think of that? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, bring that up. Roll that footage. Oh my, look at all of this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I feel good. I knew it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> so is this is this a recent addition to your to your uh marketing? Yeah. I you, and know you did that yourself? Days? What was that? You did that yourself? I did. I propped it up on one of my chairs that I'm staged with and just, yeah, hit go. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Thanks. That was really, I'm serious. That was really good. It was, were you bringing me another one, Jay? Jason uh, likes this. All right, go ahead, Jay. There's I some other good. funny ones. Oh, yeah. I was. I like this. I like that one too. Oh, that's cool. Stone Holmes, Carrie Bradshaw style. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. I like to make them fun. I think because then again, it's people want to watch it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, you want to yeah, do one more, Jay, or can we keep talking? Something in there that that um. I like the one I, wine one. Where's the wine one? The the one didn't you have one with a wine glass one time? Or I have a lot it? of wine glasses. <laughs> there's, one, there's one with the backwards hat. Oh God, that's a Christmas. That one. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want some peace and quiet. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Santa what I want for Christmas and some peace and quiet. That's what I want. <laughs> I want some peace and quiet. <laughs> They're good. They're really good. They're funny. It's yeah, it's just entertainment is what it is. Yeah, but you probably get business to, from it. I hate to I used to hate TikTok. Not hate, but I didn't like it because my kids, I mean, you know, when the kids are doing it and they're doing like these dances and whatnot, it's like, oh my god, you're doing all our TikTok. But now you just kind of make it fun and you know, you can you know make it whatever, you know, you like yeah. for business purposes, you can it's people use it for cooking. Like I follow my followers on TikTok or or cooking, other realtors, you know, um, motivational speakers. Like it's just become another piece to add to the platform, you know? So so I want to use the last part of our show to talk about the Lisa Arcano lifestyle brand, okay? So tell us where you shop, where you eat. Like give us some some South Jersey suggestions. It's so funny. Will. Like yeah. I, my, <laughs> my, um, my choice in clothing, it's either like, you know, Ross or Nordstrom. Like, there's no in between. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, like, not really Ross, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I'm wearing like a forty dollar outfit, or I'm gonna wear like a two hundred dollar outfit. <laughs> <laughs> there's no in between. Um, I don't know. I shop all over. It's whatever I can find the deal. I'm not, you know. Are you a shopper? Like, is that your thing? Is that like you, like a shop therapy type person, or sometimes, but not all the time. I'm, I'm very frugal and I'm uh, very um, disciplined in terms mm. of my finances. It's good. So I know most people would be like, really? But I, I am. I'm no, very, I mean, very picky when it comes to, to my money. So Yeah. You're trying to save it for your kids. I get it. Yeah. My son's Thanks. going to college next year. It's crazy. Oh, where's he going? Do you know yet? He's going to go to Rutgers. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's I just a great, made it's that a great school. announcement. So. <laughs> That's a great. No, it's a great school. It yeah. really is. Yeah, and it's, it's close great. enough. It's close enough that you can uh, call every weekend. <laughs> I'm calling that. You can't come back. <laughs> just kidding, well, right in. <laughs> what's he going to study? Yeah, he's undeclared. He's unsure. Okay. Would yeah. you let your children go into real estate? Um, I don't know. 
it's funny because Avery, she says, she'll say, you know, I want to be a realtor like you, mommy. And, and they come with me. They do fun things. You know, we'll go to the open houses and, and they'll do a lemonade stand outside and she'll help me mm -hmm. take my signs off and put them on. I mean, like, listen, like whatever your heart desires, you just, you got to, you got to have a, a passion for what you do. So if you want to be a realtor, do it, go for it. Fair enough. All right. And then, and then, and then the last question I have is the South Jersey dating game. All right. Give me some insight. I don't know. I'm married. I have two kids. It's terrible. I, it's <laughs> terrible. And now my phone's going to blow up, Chad. <laughs> now, when you say terrible, so give me, I, I got to, I want, I'm intrigued. I, I'm sorry. When I get interested in something, it's like, I just, I can't get off the topic. Okay. So what, do you use any of the apps? I, I have, um, yeah. I'm not, not currently, but I have. I, last year I was on and I go on like, you know, maybe if I'm bored or whatever and, mm. and, you know, maybe have a conversation and then I'm like, all right, you're boring. And yeah. you know, like that lasted a week. <laughs> 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 I just, I don't know. I don't really have the time. So like, mm. I know I, I would make the time for the right person. Um, mm. But I just, I don't know. What, like, what is your heart? So, so you talk about passion, right? Mm -hmm. What is your heart's desire in that part of your life? So I'm deep now. I'm I, super deep. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> um, to be with my best friend is really my ultimate um, uh, partnership goal is to, to be with my best friend. I always wanted to fall in love with my best friend. Okay. So, right. and someone obviously who's loyal and, you know, I don't, I'm not a, um, a high maintenance kind of girl. I don't, mm. I don't ask for a lot. You know, mm. I kind of run my own ship and I don't like it when people tell me what to do with my personal life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm an independent person. Did, did well, I have could... a lot to offer. So I got a lot of love. <laughs> have men, do you, have men ever found that intimidating about you? I think so. Yeah. Um, I mean, so many men will say like, Oh, that's, that's, that's sexy. That's such a turn on. Like, that's so great. Mm. But then it's like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. Like, well, you know, um, let's get together and then we never do. Or, or, or but it's mostly me. Like I do, I, I push, I push everybody away because I don't really have the time. Do you, are you not there yet? Do you think we like. Go, we go to Gene Morello's and then I just, we, we have martinis. That's, it, that's fine. Wait, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you my advice. Okay. When I was single back in the day. Okay. I my only rule was let me pick the place because my theory was if the date sucked at least the food was good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And honestly, it's always worked in my favor. I, I got to <laughs> and I usually used to go to like the same spot. And when they started talking a lot, or I was I zoned out. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh. And but I'd be into the food. You know? <laughs> right, right. I know that's great. I love that. I'm gonna remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> well. Lisa, I had fun. I told you. Did you realize it was an hour? No. Wow. An hour. <laughs> you want to go so soon? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to make you promise me you'll come back. I will come back. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. Lisa Arcano, this was a pleasure. You are by far. I, I'm someone. So by, by all means, this is a compliment to you. When you step into the South Jersey oh. market, in my business, you research realtors, right? This is what we do because we want to work with realtors. You are, what you're doing online is extremely good because you are very, very much uh, to me in the top of what you do uh, yeah. and, and in a good way, in a professional way. Okay. And, and I wish you continued success. You. Uh, we'll, we'll keep watching you. We're going to be a fan on the show. And that's all she wrote. So you Thank have a you. lovely weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to say anything? Do you want to have any parting words? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, everyone, yes. enjoy the Super Bowl. We will see you, you again know. next Thank week. You. And and that's all she wrote. Look for Lisa, her truck in a South Jersey neighborhood. Make sure you honk next time you see me, Chad. I will honk when I see you. Peace. Peace. Out, everyone. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. You too.